today's topic is something that has popped up and I've, I've lightly touched on some of it in our previous videos. This video is about how to mix down higher carrots down to lower carrots and I'm only going to be dealing with yellow gold in this video. Welcome back to the studio. My name is Yaku. Behind the camera as always is the Maya. Hello. When a customer comes into the shop and they want something made from some jewelry that was passed down to them, they might have some 22 karat gold, they might have some 18 karat gold, they might not have enough to make what they want to make. You could suggest to bring it down to 14 or nine carat. So we've got a lot of guys watching in the States. If I say 14 or nine carat, I know that 14 carat is your thing. It is still spotted in the UK from time to time. And I know that you work in 10 carat and not nine carat. The same principle will apply with the formula that I'm gonna share with you. We had a customer that came in and they had 22 carat gold rings, some 18 carat gold, and some nine karat gold. We needed to bring everything down to nine karat gold. You can do this in your workshop as well. And if you follow these rules, you'll be able to mix down your metals. Remember, if you're buying new gold, you're gonna to have to pay your taxes on top of that gold again. And when you're taking gold, which is really clean, and you're sending it in, you're losing up because somebody has to refine it. Let me get to the actual formula so I can explain to you what we're talking about. There's losses involved in these things. If I take 22 karat gold and I mix it down to 18 karat as a starting point, I'm gonna have minimal losses because of the actual casting itself, which means that my new calculation will be based on my 18 karat that I presently have before I mix it down to nine karat. The, the quantity of gold in 18 karat is 75%. So there's 25% in this whole pie, which is something else. Typically from 24 karat gold we mix it down with a bit of copper to get it down to 22 karat and from 22 karat gold we mix it down with a little bit of pure silver. Then we get our 18 karat. That's a typical situation. That's mainly how I understand it. There are some other mixes out there. I'm not referring to other colors. Again this is yellow gold. Once I've cast it or I've got my 18 karat yellow gold volume if I want to get it to 9 karat the very simple thing to do is to look at the weight of this and to say if this is 10 grams I'm going to have to add 10 grams of brass to get it down to nine carat. With 10 carat, for instance, that would change. This is a formula that I've tested. It works really well, and I've gotten it from the Complete Metalsmith. Back in the day when I started, still have the book. That's the formula they give you, and it works. If you've got 10 grams of 18 carat, you take that 10 grams, so you take the volume that you have, 10, any time is about 18, which will give you 180. Then you go at that very same weight, and I say, but I want nine carat gold. So you go 10 times nine, that's 90. So you've got 180, then you minus the 90, that gives you 90 again. You'll be doing little things on the side here, would you? Yes. Then you take that figure that you've got, the difference between the top and the bottom, and you divide that by the actual carrot that you want to make. So I'm hoping you're still with me. So you divide 90 by nine, which gives you 10. So if I'm starting off with 10 grams of 18 carat, I need to add 10 grams of brass to make this volume of 18 karat, nine karat. You wanna work with clean crucibles and you wanna keep the environment as clean as you possibly can. And on top of that, because you're working with old metal here, maybe somebody's worked with a solder or excessively worked with solders that are slightly under carat. In the UK, if something is under carat, if I say this is nine carat assay office, please put a nine carat stamp on this and they find that it's 8.999 and not nine, they will not stamp it the carrot that I've asked them for. It's under carrot, so I always wanna make sure that I'm above the carrot. By keeping the alloy that you're adding slightly below the level of your calculation, you're actually raising the carrot ever so slightly, minusculely, but you know you're gonna be safe when it goes down to the assay office. Now you can use the same formula going down to 10. 18 times 10 would be 180. And then if you wanna do 10 carrot, you're looking at the weight, you're going 10 carrot times 10, which gives you 100. So your difference between 180 and uh, 100 would be 80. Then you've got to take 80 and divide 80 by what you're making, which is 10 carats. So you'll be on eight grams of platinum, or, or, uh, or <laughs> eight grams of brass that you're going to be Working mixing with gold, into that. thinking about platinum. <laughs> when you do mix down, especially large volumes of material, if I'm mixing in brass into 18 carat to make nine carat yellow gold, for instance. If I'm gonna start with the gold and then add the brass, I've, I've, I'm, I'm shooting away more of the, of the gold and lessening the gold content before I'm adding the brass. So heat up your brass first, get that to melt. Don't put too much heat on it because you might have that zinc coming out of the copper 
and turning the metal a little bit red, then make sure when, you, when you're mixing it in that you spend a bit of time swirling it around to make sure that you've got the most proper mix that you possibly can get. Double check, triple check if you have to, that your figures are correct, that your numbers are correct. I've just finished making my shop. I applied my head and my skills and my hands to building a shop, which I'm quite proud of. This principle of measuring twice and cutting once is exactly what you have to do here. Now we're always going to tell the customer that there is a chance because we're not providing this metal, there's a chance and I'm saying might, it might affect your metal when you're working with it. It's harder, it's bending harder, it might crack a little easier. We tell our customers about this but we're always going to try and give them the benefit that we can recycle the metal to start off with. It's going to save the customer a lot of money, you're only going to charge for your labor and it makes sense all around. And I hope that there's something as usual that we've said that you can learn from and if there's something that you picked up on that you do which happens and you share it with us we're also as keen to learn about these things as, as you guys are we pop into your screen once a week and we come and interfere with your world of jewelry making i've got to get back to the bench thank you very much for all your support thanks for joining us on instagram thanks for liking thanks for subscribing we will see you next week guys Next week? Question mark? I know, that felt like a question. <laughs> no, no, we will see you next week. We will week. see you next week. Cheers. Okay. Have a lovely day. Bye. 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 Bye.